What's going on? Welcome back to the MVP. Hey, 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 man. You podcast, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're here back for another week. How everybody doing? What's going on? Good, good, good. Got my, yeah, kicking the kick. got my boy Cody here. Say what's happening, man. What's up with y'all, man? What's going on? Got G here. Say what's good, man. What's up? What's up, boy? Hey man, we also gonna have book here a little later. We're gonna call him in a little later. But we're gonna go and get this thing started. Um Man, we got a lot to talk about this week, man. But we're gonna we're gonna keep it we're not gonna talk about everything because then we shoot podcast be about five hours long. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it nice and tight today. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost scared to ask y'all niggas how y'all week was. Because every time we start talking about how the niggas weeks is, <laughs> seem to go on for a little while. But um even though I'm a little hesitant, Greg, you go first. How was your week, man? I go first. Yeah. I was good, man. It was just hot, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It was good. It just worked. You know what I'm saying? A- anything Keep special? Short and sweet. Anything special nah. happened? You sure? Mm-hmm. No. Well, I mean, uh, is it well? Is it? Breakfast, you know what I'm saying? With with the step pops, I mean, at the church, uh, you know, they was giving me them, them center looks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you ain't been here long enough, you know too long so you you definitely the center you know what i'm saying but beyond that now nah, i'm straight <laughs> okay no problem so, so nah, greg, cool. greg ain't had nothing significant he went um the church um church picnic and they looked church at him like it's a uh, church breakfast a uh, church breakfast my bad okay no yeah. problem i definitely wouldn't have been attending that but okay no problem <laughs> i i didn't want to but i've been avoiding it for the last three years so you know try to make sure you know step box is good man I yeah, got you. Good there, so. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So, Cody, what's happening? Yo, 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 yo. Um, the week was rough, man. I had a couple of deadlines to meet, man. So, you know, it was heavy with the work, work stuff. But um, I had something interesting happen yesterday. Uh, I went out with a, a church crew. You know what I'm saying? Trying to uh, get acclimated with the, you know, the church that we have out here or whatever. Uh, man, it was like some crazy stuff that jumped off, and um, yeah, it was in the parking lot, so it was like some, you know, some real like fighting type stuff. It was some dude beating on his wife and stuff like. Well, I don't know if his wife just beating on some girl. And so a guy I was talking to, you know, what I'm saying uh, he was talking about how his temper is real bad, and so yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I understand that, da, 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 da. but you know, this happened, and so like the middle of the conversation, dude ended up jumping the uh, little rail because we were outside, he was smoking a cigarette. He jumped over there, you know, grabbed the dude without the girl, that da, 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 da. And so I had to jump over there, too. So I ended up in the middle of it. And uh, it, was, it was crazy, man, because the dude that he separated, you know, from, from the girl, he started talking junk. And so he started junk to him, and then he started talking junk to me because I was trying to make sure the, you know, the cat that I was, you know, there with was um cool. You know, like, don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it dude started talking junk to me mm-hmm. so i almost you know i almost kind of went a little bit crazy because I was, I was gonna fight the cat anyway because i was like bro you don't you don't know who i am you know what i'm saying like you ain't you know what i'm saying like <laughs> this this really ain't what you want right here but i i said something to him but then i realized i was like man you know i, I knew the police were already on the way because the uh, people at the establishment which was a bowling alley you know they had already called the police and everything so I was like, yeah, Cody, make sure the other guy I, I, I want I don't want to cut your story off. We're going we gonna to get back to right where was you at. But inter- reiterate, this was a church event that y'all are talking about? Well, yeah, 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 absolutely. It was uh, okay. it started off from a church event, yeah, absolutely. Remind me when I come absolutely. down to Houston, I ain't going, I ain't going to that church. Just remind me. <laughs> but now you can, finish your, you can finish your story. I had to, I was like, damn, he talking about a church thing? Okay, no problem. Keep on going, yeah, brother. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the church folks, man. It was uh, it was the church folks that actually uh, set up the event. And so what it was is like it was a lot of uh, I'll uh, preface it with uh, with how I came in. When I came in there, I was like my first lane that I was on there with was old people. You know what I'm saying? It was old people in the church and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I got a chance to look up and I saw it was some younger guys. They were on like because they had four lanes, so they were on like the fourth lane. So I went over there and I started talking to the cats. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, you know, y'all, y'all ain't really fooling with these older guys, which I understand. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, yeah. After that, 
man, you know, we end up going outside because they were still they were smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. And we were, like I said, we were still having a conversation, but then that incident happened. And so after that incident happened, man, it was just it was chaotic, man. It was super chaotic, bro. Like, man, it, Jasmine had called me and because uh, it was it had got late. It was probably like one or something like that when Jasmine had called mm-hmm. uh, to make sure everything was cool. But it was in the middle of everything, man. It was like right whenever the the other guy he had hit the kid his girl and all this other stuff. And so the dude I was talking to, he had jumped the fence and there not jumped the fence. It was like a little gate. You know how you got like a little you know, a little gated area to where you can step outside in the back, you know what I'm saying, and, like, smoke or whatever. That, that's mm-hmm. the way it was, but he jumped over that, you know what I'm saying? And so I was just talking to him, and, you know, we was having a good conversation. Uh, it was pretty productive, and, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, that situation happened, and he jumped over there, man. It, it got crazy, man. It got super crazy. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it was a crazy situation, man. It, everything ended up being all right on the up and up. Uh, needless to say, we all ended up being all right on this side. So that was what it was. But uh, it was crazy, bro. It was super crazy. I always end up in situations like that. That's, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know what you, what you doing, man. You got to change your I, um, your energy, man. How, how in the hell you almost get uh-huh. in a fight at a church event? Man, but I understand, church. I, I understand what y'all was doing. Y'all was helping a young lady out. You know what I'm saying? Did she show appreciation? Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely, man. Cause, uh, like, I didn't get to all that other part, but, uh, cause it, it'd be a longer story. But yeah, yeah, she was definitely appreciate, uh, appreciative of, um, us, you know, helping her out, especially, uh, the dude that came out there. Cause, yeah, she was definitely appreciative. Uh, the police came out there. You know, every, everything ended up being good, man. It was just, it was just weird that the whole situation went down. It was, it was, uh, kind of crazy and unexpected, but that was what it was. But she appreciated it. Yeah. yeah. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Cody out there being um Captain um Captain Planet out here, you know what I'm saying? Jumping into <laughs> situations, him and the other Power Ranger. I see you. I see you, brother. Nah, out there, not at all. On a church event smoking cigarettes out of the bowling alley. Probably had him a couple of <laughs> drinks. Yo, your church is lit. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, nah, shout out to your church, my brother. It wasn't even. It wasn't even just that, man. Uh, like everybody was cooking, like drinking beer and chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. this is a different type of church. You know what I'm saying? Like people, are, people can come and do whatever, they, whatever they want to do. Like it, it's not like a, a traditional church to where you come and then they they look at you a certain type of way for anything that you might do or whatever. Like it's, if you drink, you drink. You know what I'm saying? Drink beer while we bowling. Uh, this is this is the same church that uh you know we had a couple therapy uh volume two. You know when uh. When y'all was out here and uh, Kim and went to the that event that um, they had at the church, and you know they they were drinking wine and stuff oh, like yeah, that. They so came it, back tipsy. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They came back super tipsy. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. They came back mm-hmm. super tipsy. But yeah, the, this is the same church, man. It's just like they don't they don't judge anybody. Like everybody doesn't partake in whatever you do, mm-hmm. but they don't judge you for it. You know what I'm saying? Like That's if you want to go dope. bowling, you want to yeah. drink some beer. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You know it is what it is, and I. I kind of like that, man. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of been um, trying to get a little bit more involved, man. And so the guy that I was talking about that jumped into it uh, with the other guy, uh, he was he, he has like a criminal record and everything. He said he loved the fact that this church really brought him in, you know what I'm saying, like not judging him and stuff like that. And so we had a, a huge conversation on that. So that's how we kind of found it on that, you know what I'm saying. So that's how we kind of clicked up. But, yeah, man, that, that, that's how that was. Turned out longer than what I wanted to be, man. But yeah, well, that's dope, man. Ain't wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, so got the intros out the way. Y'all ready to get to the shits? Y'all ready to get this? <laughs> Let's get to them. I got a couple yeah. things. I don't know really what order I want to go into, but I'm gonna get this one out the way because I don't want to talk on this at all. I can't talk about this till it's all the way over. Um, we do throw a, a little bit of sports in there now and then. I want to talk about these free agents in the NBA. Um, Kawhi Leonard said he wants out of San Antonio and he wants to go to LA, uh, preferably the Lakers. Uh, we got LeBron that um, got his kids and stuff going to school in LA. So people talking about he can probably be a Laker. We got Paul George, who's going to be a free agent that's from LA and already said he would love to be a Laker. Um, 
Everybody knows, all my friends know, I'm, I'm the hugest Laker fan. Um, I want to see where you guys think these free agents will possibly go, where you think they will end up at, and do you think my dreams will be answered to having um, Kawhi, <laughs> Paul George, so and dreams. LeBron? My dreams, yes, sir. Um, Greg, go, go go ahead. I would love to hear what you got to say about that first. We're going to just get this one out the way quick um, before Book get on here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go into something else. You know what I'm saying? I got him. Um, I think it all depends on Kawhi, man. You know what I'm saying? If he if he goes, and, and you know, I know he's saying it right now, but if he really goes through with it, yeah, for sure, I, I think it's going to happen. Um, I don't see why not. You know what I'm saying? There's too many pieces that's already here. You know, we've been hearing about LeBron to the Lakers since, shoot, what, five years at least now? I mean, it, you know, before he even came back to Cleveland last time, right? They were talking about it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, I, I mean, you know, as a LeBron fan. J- just real you know, quick, I, I don't want you to jinx me. Where do you think LeBron, yeah. just tell me, out of all the teams I, in the I, NBA, where would where do you think LeBron's going to go? Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be Philly. Okay, uh, you, say, you say Philly yeah. with LeBron. Um, yeah. Paul George, where do you think he's going to be at? I think he's going to stay in Oklahoma City. Okay, and Kawhi Leonard, where do you think he's going to end up? I think mean, he's going to be a Laker for sure. So. Okay, no problem. Um, Cody, same questions to you. Uh, it looks like LeBron might be coming out there to your spot, man. Uh, he's probably going to be on your team. Um, I really feel like it's going to be that way because a lot of people are campaigning for him to come out there. And, um, you know, they already got a crib out there. You know, like you said, the kids going to school. So, like, it's, it's kind of fitting for them to just go in and move out there, man. Even uh, uh, the game, the game just uh, has a, a strand of weed called what is it, L.A. Brown. L.A. Brown, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to welcome them with uh, open arms or whatever. And I'm not mad at it. I just, I don't. I don't understand why they would like the West to just be stacked up that tough and the East to just be so, you know, so soft. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. See, I that's why. why I, yeah. Go ahead. What you said, dude? No, I was going to say that's, that's why I feel like he's going to stay in the East. Like, think about it. Like, who's going to represent the East? What, Boston? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, you know, Boston can, with the team they have, I mean, we don't know how Kyrie and Gornay would work. You know, it's going to look with the current Boston team that just, you know, pushed the Cavs in seven games. But at the same time, they still lack experience. You know what I'm saying? So whatever right, team right. LeBron goes to, that experience factor of going to eight straight finals and winning championships and losing and all that, you know, that puts puts them above, you know, any other team in the East. So, like, right? you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of funny how, you know, um, they had those little memes of LeBron and Thanos. Well, y'all remember in the movie, he was talking about balance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And, and I think I think if LeBron continues to stay in the East, it'll, it'll be a little bit more balance. But if not, it's no it's, balance, you know man. There's it's, no it's, balance, it's, it's man. There's no balance, so. man. Nobody wants to go to Cleveland, bro. Nobody no, wants I to go to Cleveland. No, I feel you're not. I, I ain't talking about Cleveland, but just, you know. But then what you going to do with your, your your rookie, Ben Simmons, the rookie of the year? What you going to do with him? I mean, he, hey, he's he going to have to learn. You know what I'm saying? He can't I mean, learn. If, he if, can't if learn. you get a chance to get LeBron, like. But w- that's going to throw all the, them off, though. Huh? I think, that, think? I think that's going to throw the whole team off if LeBron went to the I don't think so. I, I don't. I really don't think so. I, I was thinking that first initially. Honestly, I was. But now just kind of revisiting and looking at, you know, just the dynamic of it, like. No, like LeBron, he, he's 33. You know what I'm saying? He said he wants to play, what, five more years to to play with his son. That would be a dream of his. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, you, you, you're you not going to have – I mean, I feel like as much as he was doing this year and the years before, like if he goes to a younger team, it's the same kind of concept, you know what I'm saying, minus Kevin Love, but with Embiid and Ben Simmons and maybe Markel Fultz as well, a, a healthy one. That's three young people. LeBron can be a, a power four. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I think he'll not exert as much energy and maybe expand his, you know, career by going to, to Philadelphia. That's the only reason why I see it. So. Okay. No problem. But, but well, we'll see. But, I don't have you know, whatever we go to, I'm going to 
you know, obviously root for him, but I don't have nothing to say on the subject. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I'm staying clear of all that. Of course, everybody knows I would love to have LeBron in the purple and gold. Uh, yeah, it only it only cool. makes sense. He says he's the king. What color is the yeah. what color is royalty? It's purple and it's, gold. It's purple. Purple and gold is the colors right. of royalty. So I think you should come. You know what I'm saying? Where is that? You know what I'm saying? Come, come sit under the other great kings. You know what I'm saying? King Kobe, King Magic Johnson, King Kareem, King Shaq. Come, that's true. You know, that's King true. Jerry West. Yeah. I mean, that's the only reason why I think. But okay, I ask you this: since you're a Lakers fan, so instead, who are they gonna trade? They would have to be. All of, them. all of them. Go. <laughs> all of them go. I don't have nobody that I I, I care about staying. Lonzo first, uh, if that's what needs to be. No, and that, see, and that's that's one caveat that I kind of think that's because his dad like, is talking dumb shit, man. Exactly, he getting on my fucking nerves. Exactly, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I, I like Lavar for the fact of him sticking up for his kids, but he he just be off the chain he, sometimes. He, he like he's sabotaging us right now, man. Yeah. I, I don't know if LeBron want to deal with that, man. I mean, they're going to have to shit. I mean, I think they would trade him anyway if LeBron's going to come. But if not, like, I don't know, you know. So, well, But, yeah, I think I think Kawhi definitely going, though. I, I'm, yeah. I'm good with Kawhi, I was, too. I'm good with Kawhi. Cause I, I forgot he was. He went to, what, UNLV? I don't know if he's from, what, is he from L.A. or hey, California? He said, he, like that? he said he's from out there. You know, Paul George is from oh. out there, too. Yeah, yeah, I know Paul George is. You, yeah. you can give me Kawhi and Paul George, and I'm happy with that. Matter of oh, fact, shit. somebody they ain't talking about is the Marcus Cousins. I take um, oh, messed up yeah. Achilles. I think he flowed under the radar. I think Magic trying to play in that out too. Because if we can get oh, wow. everybody talking about um, Paul George and LeBron and Kawhi, I think shoot, we might be able to get two of them. Let's get Kawhi. Let's get Le- let's try to get LeBron, and then let's get the Marcus Cousins. That's what I would do personally. Yeah, that's. You know I mean, yeah, I think that'll be a good look, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, either way, they're gonna up today. You know, but I, I think you know, how we always talk. I think it's good for the Lakers and just and basketball in general, the NBA when the Lakers are good. You know, what I'm saying it's just like when Boston. You know, what I'm saying like these are historic teams. So anybody that knows the NBA, like like these teams, you know, it, it's just better when they're good. Mm-hmm. You know. I agree. I the NBA is always better when my team is better. Uh, <laughs> so, anything, anything you guys want to say and close on that, Cody? You got anything for that? No. Um, the only thing I would say is uh, the fact that uh, people are, you know, talking about uh, getting LeBron out here, you know, Houston, and it sounds good in, in you know, in theory, but it, think about uh, how. Harden would react to it. Like, Harden ain't going to like that because Harden's supposed to be the face. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he's uh, ego-driven. He's proven to be ego-driven. So, you know, LeBron get out here. It's going to kind of, you know, cut into his ego. You know, it's not let somebody else be in charge of the whole, be, be, be running the city. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm-hmm. think he's ready for that. So, I don't, I don't think it would be a, a good fit. Like, I like it. Like I said, in theory, but and I don't, I don't think it would work out. But um, yeah, whatever LeBron ends up doing, um, if he does, if he does go to the Lakers, it it, it is what it is. Like I'm not gonna take too much on that. I just don't, I just don't like switching from team to team. And I'm still, I'm still old school, man. So switching from team to team is just, it's not, you know, not anything that. I really, you know, co-sign. But whatever they do is what they do. I don't have a problem with it. Just for the simple fact of uh, the perfect example is Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin thought he was going to be a Clipper for life. He signed oh, a multi-year yeah. deal and they traded his ass right to um, the Pistons. Quick, fast. I, yeah. Them nigga, them cats ain't loyal up there at the, um, at the head. It's all about business. Yeah, I think I think it should be business for the players as well, too. So... Blake Griffin could have went where he wanted to actually wanted to go instead of going the dog on Detroit. Like I wouldn't want to go play for Detroit, but Hey, I mean, that's, that's just how I feel about that. But, um, yeah, I'll see. I mean, and just, just to add just a little bit, like I just, how Cody said, he don't like it, but 
at the same time, like back in the day, I mean, it was it was some super teams, you know what I'm saying, that people don't really kind of, you know. What super teams? Name it. Name it. Name it. Uh, the Bulls won. You know what I'm saying? Scotty uh, Pippen, Robin, uh, when they got Robin, I wouldn't name. I wouldn't. Well, yeah, they did. They when they got Robin Kukos, that was that Come was on, one man. of them teams. But the Boston, Boston, Boston Celtics was the original super that, team. No, exactly. That was my next point. For us. Boston, Boston Celtics started it off. You got Ray Allen. Yeah. You had Paul Pierce. Yeah, um, Kevin Garnett. And Kevin Garnett. And you had a Rondo yeah. that was one. He yeah. was one of the best point guards. You know what I'm saying? Getting it done. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, right. How many of them? How many of them um, actually lost in the finals and then just came back and said, "Hey, let me be part of your team." It's different. It's just, it, the only difference is the the prop powers that be made that super team, and you know what happened with LeBron and them. They said, "Yo, we're gonna do what we want to, and we're gonna make us a super team." I mean, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? No. We, see, I'm talking. I'm talking more about uh, uh, Durant. Oh, you talking about Durant? You mess around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose, and then you like, okay, I want to join y'all. Come on now, that's not that's not the way it should go down. Like it should be some type of uh, competitive nature to where you want to end up beating them. But he dropped all them. Was like, nah, let me join forces with you know who, who who's already already winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that that I, that never gets any respect for me. It it won't ever get any respect for me. Man. And I love, I love, I literally love that cat, man. I, I was like, man, that's, that's one of the cats that you know, I really, really, uh, really uh, get his jersey and everything. Mm-hmm. And my little man follow him and everything. Who, just, who, who's uh, all right? what, that? What, what man you love like that? No, I'm saying Durant. I love Durant. I was, I was on Durant. Like, I love, I love Durant, man, because Durant went to UT for, what, a year? Uh-huh. And then, um, uh, straight to the league or whatever he did he did his thing in the league but just how he turned his back on okay see this and jump straight to the people that beat him like come on bro like that that's not respectable to me man you gotta get over it's that not. you gotta get over that it, what, what, what's what, you know, at, first, at first I felt I a certain remember. way about it. At first I felt a certain way about it. But look, every year you up here busting your ass trying to get over that hump. I I, I can I gotta respect somebody that be like, yo, forget it. If I got the opportunity to go join up with them, forget it. I'm gonna go get these championships. Cause you got a lot of great you got you got a lot of great players that wish they they, they can say what they want, but Charles Barkley and some of these other people wish they would have um went to the Bulls with Michael Jordan so they could have got them some championships. Nah, that wasn't gonna happen. Nobody gonna play. because you can say what you want, but but Charles was Charles was jumping too. Charles went um he went to the Blazers and the Houston. No, oh, no, he went to Houston Rockets and stuff like that. He was click topping too. You know what I'm saying? Houston Rockets won a championship. Now he with them. Now he with them. They ain't win again. So the same joint. But um, nah, I don't I don't see it the same. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I just, it right. was it was a different. Name. And I, I like that. Next, I like that era. Uh, I, I'll say I'm nostalgic to to that era. And so, you know, what's going on now is it's, it's, it's beyond. Me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, they 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 doing other stuff, man. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Um, go ahead and get that call in with on book, man. We're gonna end this. We're gonna end this topic, man. Hello. Yeah, Boogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Why are you so goddamn loud, nigga? Goddamn. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, we hear you. What's going on, Book? Okay. Your phone sound a little janky, brother. You back in the United States. We, 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 shouldn't, we shouldn't be hearing that. I'm in the U.S., baby. You still sounding janky out here, man. Uh, I mean, well, I'm going outside then. Yeah, I'm get... outside now. You go somewhere? You know what I'm saying? I'm outside. The people next door are playing pachata music. Hold on. Oh, look. This, this is what happens to people when you, do, right. when you do a podcast with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, nah. sometimes, sometimes there's that one nigga that just can't get right. Usually it's Greg. I'm here though. Okay. I'm here. No I'm here. What's up, man? You didn't check in, man. You didn't check in. <laughs> uh, book out in New York right now. He ain't in um, Kuwait, so we ain't we ain't yeah. get, we ain't get an intro on you. How, how was your week, man? What's good with you? Oh 
Oh, man, just tired over here, renovating the crib for my grandfather, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it, man, family coming by. I've seen a lot of people that I ain't seen in a long time. Uh, I didn't actually tell nobody I was here, so, yeah, that's all good, though, you know. I got you. The unexpected surprises, you know, those are, you know, I'm grateful for those, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Okay. Nope. Well received. Well received love, man. Well received. Yes, sir. Yes, sir man. Last topic. We talked about um uh, we talked about uh-huh. LeBron and all that. I, all we want to know is where you think LeBron gonna end up, where you think Paul Pierce is gonna end up. I mean not Paul Pierce, Paul George. Oh Paul George going, and where uh-huh. you think is Co why gonna end up. That's all I want to hear is the team or a destination <clears throat> where you think they're gonna end up at. I put it like this. It, it the the first domino that has to fall is Kawhi. Kawhi end up on the Lakers, and you can just count LeBron in and Paul George as well. Uh, brother, I like the way you think. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I like the way you're thinking right now. Um, I'm hoping it happens. I it's a fall. So. <laughs> it, it's, it's a fall short. It was a oh, fall short. It's a fall. Sh- it was a far shot. But um, uh, I hope I hope when it goes that way as well. Um, the mm-hmm. next topic. I'm glad you came in because I want to actually start off with you because <clears throat> you in New York now. You 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 mm-hmm. you in the um the home of this person right now. Um, Nas. Oh man. Nas, oh man. Nas album just came out, and I want uh, your critique before we get everybody that's nine um New York to chime in. So uh, I want I want to give you a listen Coast. to yours. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're not uh, you're not technically East Coast either. Um, yeah, I'm not technically not technically, yeah, but yeah. I, I, you know, yeah, that's where you. I've re- traveled here all my life, though. Yeah, you, yeah. your roots is from there. You born and all that, so uh-huh. we, we give you the first pass. That um, I want you to critique the Nas album, and I want you to tell me after you critique it, which one of the good music projects so far we had the um, Yay, we had the um, Cuddy and Yay, and then we had Push the T, uh-huh. and then Nas. All right. Which one of them you think is the best? But first, I want your critique of the Nas album. The Nas album, I mean, when I started it, his name was Nas. When I finished it, it was Nas. Nah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wasn't feeling it in no capacity. Uh, I thought the intro was weak. I mean, lyrically, uh, I like the the concept that he was putting out. I just think the production made the, the project underwhelmingly poor. Are you um, are you outside right now? Or are you outside in? Am I old? Are you outside or inside of the house right now? I'm outside. We want to make sure you're safe now. You're talking a lot of shit about now, so <laughs> you may need to come inside. Hey, we we go to Long Island. Long Island is okay. cool. Right. If I was in Queens, I might have to, you know, be inside. I don't want, you, I don't want you to get hit with the blicky. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to get hit with the blicky out there. You know what I'm talking about? The blicky. I'm in L.I. right now, but okay. we, we, we good over here. No problem. But, uh, keep, on, keep on going. Yeah, yeah. But, um, no, nah, man, I, I honestly, I probably only like two tracks off the whole album. And what, what makes me feel bad about it is I'm glad it was only seven songs because I wasn't impressed. I was just sitting there, like, I, I gave it a chance, and I was just like, man, when is this going in? So I can go back and listen to J-Rock. That's how, that's how yeah. I was feeling. I, I, that's I, how I was feeling. Go, I, go ahead. I, I didn't like it, man. I like the production. I, like the production. Um, I, I just terrible. feel like, you know, lyrics, lyrics are always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Lyrics yep. are there. And we agree with the lyrics being there. And so he finally uh-huh. has some production that people can actually uh, agree upon. You know what I mean? So the name, that, that, the name what, does, though. What, does, what does that say? What does that say? About, about nine. Uh, what does it say? No. You know what? I, I can't even say it nine like that because he usually picks quality beats to rap over or to complement his sound, and it just feels like he was like he might have played something different, and he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna use this one. This will be gone with." Like I. I I, I don't know what actually transpired to make him be like, okay, yeah, we're going to roll with that, but those weren't the, the right choices for him. That, that didn't complement his sound at all, whatsoever. Uh, uh, so, can we, uh, agree? Just, can we uh, agree that uh, we, we argue saying that um, yeah. he needs to have beat? And so when he gets yeah, beat, he they don't start the beat. So it's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of. Uh, oh, it's bad. A lot of excuses, you know what I'm saying? Like, so okay, um, he's a, he's a he's a great lyricist and stuff like that, but he just needs to hang it up. Is that what that is? Oh no, no, he he never creates the beats. That's the thing. 
He yeah. did his job, one hundred and ten percent. It's just that the music in the background that complimented his acapella was terrible. And I don't know who on the board said, "Yo, no, man, this 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 this, this is right here." It wasn't it, man. It wasn't it. Yeah, yeah. And I think with Ye, it was just like, well, look, man, these are these guys take it or leave it. I think that's what it ultimately boiled down to as well. Do, do me one, <laughs> do do me one favor, book. Turn your yes, turn sir. your phone on speakerphone and point it out to New York. And then Cody, I want you to say what you wanted to say and make it plain, so everybody in New York and New Jersey can hear what you're trying to say. Because I hear what you yeah, trying, I hear what you're trying to say, but you ain't saying it. What are you trying to say, man? Put it out, put it out, put it out. Uh, book, you got it on speakerphone? <laughs> yeah, you're on now. <laughs> All right. You love with it. I'm going to say it was Twitter's ass. Twitter's ass. Twitter's ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had we had the great from Queens Bridge, you know what I'm saying, come out. And uh, everybody says his, uh, his um, production wasn't what it was supposed to be gave them some production and it still just wasn't it was supposed to be like come on now so what are we about to say we're gonna say this guy is a great lyricist but he can't make great albums uh his songs are all right he has decent songs uh he has he has great but he has more decent than great songs more decent than great let's let's keep it honest and keep it real it is what it is and yeah, like it is what it is, man. Tell Queen Queen's Bridge to holler at me. It is what it is. I, I, I love. All right, I love I'll it. make sure I do that too. I, I, I'll pull right up to Queen's Bridge when I go out there Wednesday while I'm shopping in Jamaica. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna let them know. Yeah, yeah, what, going down. What, what, but what, what, what I, I want to say mm-hmm. to counter that, mm-hmm. girl, real quick, I, I, I would like to counter that. Okay, go ahead. When we all agree, let me give you the rank of the albums like you asked first, Ross, because that is, that's going to transition me into what I got to say. Okay, no problem. And it's all going to make sense. So, push album by far. Clear. Clear. Perfect body of work. All right? Mm-hmm. Now, I was expecting Nas' album to be that as well. So, with Nas having the lyrical content, but not the musical composition to back that up, I still put him number two because of, you know, the content and, and the matureness of what it was that he was saying. Mm. I, I can't act like I didn't hear what the man was saying. He was mm. talking that talk. I love that. Yeah. Um, the Kid Cudi and, and Ye album, I will put that third. I might have liked two songs off of that as well. And then the Ye album, I didn't like any of it, personally. Now, He's last. I think Tiana Taylor's going to be better than those three. Nas, Kid Cudi, and Ye's album. I think she's going to have the second best album, personally. I think she's going to have the best album out of all of them. Yeah. Now, with that being said, like I said, Push album, Body of Work, perfect selection of beats, everything, rock. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and say that Push is a better lyricist than Nas, because he's not. They're both dope. But you're trying to tell me that same Push that you gave Pusher and those same beats? You're trying to tell me if you didn't give those to Nas, he wouldn't kill something? Exactly. So why is it that you could produce for this man, but you can't produce for the gods like that? I mean, he's God's son, is what he calls himself. Why you gave him that trash? So, let's see. Ye's album... Trash oh. musically. That that album, them beats was garbage. Kid Cudi album, he might have had one beat that I like, and then you give Nas album. Ever since they found it, it's been down. You can't tell me that it's the production because the same producer produced all of these tracks, all twenty eight so far, yeah. all twenty eight. Yeah. yeah. So with you can't put that on Nas. You're with, putting it on Jay. What you're trying to do is you're trying to blame uh, the producer for it not being it's clear. I ain't blaming nobody. Everybody in the world can hear who produced who, and his name is by that. Yo, yo, but I, my, don't, my, I don't make me. Yo, book. But my thing is, yes, you, you in there, you, yeah. you see, you hear, yeah. the, you hear the beat, and you rap on it. Obviously, yeah. you had you had um, beats done with. Um, what's the nigga name? Um, DJ Khaled, because DJ Khaled had a whole song name. Oh, I love album. that one. He had a song called "Now like Down Done." So why did you choose to go from DJ Khaled, who had you a, a chosen beat, like you was you was killing on his beats, 
to Kanye West beats that was you hear the same shit that everybody else hearing and you rapped on that shit. That, well, it's a movement. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you get behind the movement that stands for something, you think about it, man. They don't want to release every the, the momentum. You know what I mean? There's no singles, nothing out. You know what I mean? You just buying it off of this is my name. You ain't heard from me in a while. You know what I mean? I, I like yeah, could have literally poopity, scoop, poopy scoop, the whole album. And people would have said they bought it because they wouldn't have been able to sample any of the tracks. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm sorry. I'm upset that Nas allowed those seven tracks to come out like that. And I think he should have spoke up more, but um, I'm highly disappointed. I'm not defending the album at all. I defend the lyricism, but I told you I think the album was garbage. I, I didn't appreciate it. Not go, go ahead, Greg. I, I, wanted... I, I want to hear what Greg got to say about this, man. What's Come on, talk to me, Greg. Uh, um, you know, I was listening to what they were saying, but nah, you, you know, I, I like Nas as well. Um, as a and you know, for what he stands for the culture, but personally, I just think it was rushed, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it, that, that's what it sounds like to me. Like it sounds like like Nas had his lyrics. And like Kanye had like, you know, a release date, you know, he he already put it out there, Nas coming out on the fifteenth, so on and so forth. Yeah. And it was rushed. And to think about it, like, wasn't this like out of all the albums, wasn't this the one that re- was released like the latest? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I think I think maybe some you know, in Kanye and you know, maybe he just didn't feel as confident as he you know, was putting on, you know what I'm saying? Because of the magnitude of, of a Nas album, you produce that whole person behind it. Exactly. Yeah. So it was like, okay, you know, this is not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not Takashi 69, like, this is, you know, <laughs> like a statement, you know, like, so I gotta make it right and, you know, push hyping it up, everybody hyping it up, like y'all was saying, DJ Khaled, Nas album done. You know, that was almost, what, two years ago, however long that was, yeah. and and this is the result? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, like, I agree with Book, like, the lyrics is on point, but the production, it just doesn't, it doesn't match what, what the lyrics are saying, and, and ultimately, yeah. obviously, that, the song, the structure, you know, it just doesn't fit, like, it, it feels all rushed to me, like, I listened to it twice. You know what I'm saying? Without any interruptions in the library. And it's just like, it feels rushed. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Yay album, it feels rushed. And you know what I'm saying? just like the Kid Cudi album, you know what I'm saying? He put it up on title and I downloaded it. And then all of a sudden it wouldn't play because he changed the entire <laughs> track list. Like, what about? You know what I'm saying? I know probably a lot of people, you know, say the same thing, but it was the heat. He switched the track list. Like the same thing he was doing with Michael Pablo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Adding, taking his own dog. So, yeah. you know, it, it's just, he has an expectation. He probably has an expectation of himself. But at the same time, like, I feel like he didn't do him justice, man. And now was, you know, you know, thank God, like you said, this is the songs, but at the same time, you can't just do any type of way. And, you know, I agree. I think push number one, I'm always, but right now, I mean, it's, that ain't no bias right there. there. That ain't nobody's like, yeah. I hope you're not locking it, so you don't see it. Oh. And that's what's crazy. I think, I'm sorry, Fonta, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, I heard you comment. Um, but I think, like, with Tiana, um, I bought her first album. I actually like oh, it. Her first album was Jazz. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I think the other album is going to be the Lego. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. And I'm just so upset by it because, like I said, what, what pushes. Uh, that's all. I, I wouldn't want push the rap over those joints that that yeah. I had. You know what I mean? Right, but right. if you take that work, those beats that he composed, he said what he did that in uh literally like four days. Mm. He made beats and he was putting stuff to the side for each other person. But it's like, dude, you came up with those. If you gave those same beats to Nas and then you put those lyrics, oh my god! Like, are we serious, bro? Like. Yeah. And Nas has been, I mean, Push been out, Push, boy, Lord, Lord, no, I've been waiting on Push out forever but anyway, because the first one had that one day for me, like, that that wasn't who you are, brother. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't feeling that. Mm-hmm. And 
Um, you know, the drug dealers anonymous with him and Ho. Oh, they got me back. Like, okay, yes, brother, you, you, you re-identified yourself because you lost me for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when he comes out with this one, long awaited as well, like, bro, you got to give me something better than your last. He delivered. Yeah, now yeah. has been gone forever, man. Yeah. And how did you do that? No, man, you, you disrespected me, man. To forget Niles, you disrespected me because I've been waiting. I'm a true fan of him, so, bro. Hey, you he, let he, me he down so me. bad. His and was, the he, he first thing. Offended. The first thing to know if I was Yo, man, what's up with your boy Nah? He was like, yo, son. Nah. I said exactly. I feel the same, man. I feel the same. And that's from somebody born and raised in your you know, rock with it. And I was like, man, dog, I, I just, I, I, for hip hop, I feel sorry. You know what I mean? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm really I'm give you my perspective of the whole album. Um, <laughs> it it sounds like he rapped some, them lyrics and they put a beat to him. Some of the some of the beats ah. didn't match, it didn't match his rap. Go to it, and some of the his words, it it almost sounded old school. It sounded dated, like though his, mm -hmm. his rhyme cadence to the beat it didn't match up correctly. Mm -hmm. It sounded it, I didn't I didn't care for that. What Nas was saying, of course, what he's saying, he's saying good stuff and all that. It was like a a, a whack attempt to four 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 Jay Z album. That's what I felt like. Mm -hmm. it, it, and, <laughs> And that's, that's what I'm be honest. Them beats wasn't them beats okay. were solid. He had about two songs that I like, man, and that's about it, man. I ain't got, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to kill Nas. You know what I'm talking about? But it, it, it wasn't it. I'm not listening to that shit no more. I listen to it for the podcast. I'm done. Um, anything else in closing? Anybody else want to say about Nas album? How, how, how about this? Nas album done. Mm -hmm. Go no, it is. I, I'm, I'm already deleting it out of my thing. I don't even want to keep a single from it because I just told you, man, I want to write the thing I do for the people who but, guys, but, it was nice. But you ain't been in I'm here a while, man. Once you, once you hear that, um, that we don't talk about that no more. You know what I'm saying? That closes it. Out. Yeah, yeah, that, that closes that close that, that, that Rick Ross closes it all out. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You still with me, dog? <laughs> Go there. What go there? Yo, but you didn't fell asleep, nigga. You all right? Nah, nah. I was letting them get their stuff off. They okay. had to get their stuff off. He was gonna say what he had to do. Uh, book book feel like he's a uh, part of the New York culture because he's there now. But uh, <laughs> I really don't understand. I really don't understand why he was talking about it. I ain't gonna see you yeah. later, man. Huh? Huh? You heard me. You heard me. You heard me? Hey. Man, hold up. Hey, hey bro. We, we come to this time. We come to this time. You, you're breaking up again. Nah, you, man. Whack phone. Nah, uh, I, I, I hear you, man. <laughs> but, uh, Cody, I book, want to want start. Book, book messed around to get out there, man. Book, book just a feeling himself, man. He out there. He say, oh, we call, we, what, what do you say, the hokies or whatever? Oh, he said, we call oh, them heroes. <laughs> I act like I didn't even see that shit. I'm like, this nigga gonna uh, snap a turkey sandwich and send it to me talking about we call these heroes. Like, nigga, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care about no goddamn turkey sandwich. Oh, wow. This nigga said an Italian, an Italian ice. He gonna send that. We call, we call, we call, these, we call these slurp juices, nigga. Would you play Fortnite? Nigga, don't nobody care. You gotta, you gotta get these. Oh man, y'all y'all so glad you know that. Y'all dirty. Y'all boys dirty, man. Y'all didn't grow up over here, then you wouldn't know. Then yeah, you wouldn't call it what I call it. Why do you keep on sending this shit to us? Then nigga, we don't care. There's a lot of stuff that I don't care about. I don't be just talking down on y'all. Oh, you know, we for real going to say? With the potatoes and corn, I don't say nothing. We for real. I let you do it. What are you talking about? You talking about Cody's uh, putting his um his food on there? I don't say nothing, man. Yes, you did. We did say something. We actually banned Cody from. I ain't never said nothing. I don't say it looks bad. I don't say it looks good. I just I don't say nothing. So what you saying? It look bad? Hold up. I ain't never said that. Oh, but I ain't you, never but, said that. But, but I ain't right. never had none of his cooking, so I can't confirm if it's good or not. <laughs> That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had none of them ribs he be throwing on the on the grill. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Them ribs, them ribs want a medal, man. Hey, man. I, I, 
I ain't had no sauce. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it don't matter. I got, I got a, I got a flag to show that I know what I'm doing on that one. Hey man, hey bro, that I can't got nothing to do with my palate. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nope. Uh, no problem. Man, well, you got, you got to bring some, some of that shrimp on the body. You got to bring some in December. On the body, you know. In December, we're gonna have to have a cookout. Everybody gonna be here together. I'm gonna have everybody come to the house, and we're gonna do the podcast. And the dog on yeah. dining room. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to just do it all over, oh, over there. Happening. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Y'all know I'm there, man. I already punched my ticket for that trip. You already know I'm coming. So, we definitely going to do that. We gonna have, <laughs> I'm going to try to get it on Facebook. We got Facebook Live. People listening to us. We try to answer some questions and stuff like that, too. So, or put it on okay. YouTube Live. Do something. So, we're going to try to do something before. We do. Oh, yeah. We should do that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm, that's why I'm the idea guy. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Cody for um, assisting <laughs> on some of the ideas. You know what I'm talking about? But um, <clears throat> the next topic I want to go into, if we done talking yeah. about people food and stuff, we all good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to start off with Cody on this one because um, when I when I heard about this, I said if anybody would did this, probably Cody would have did this. So I just want to start off with this. Um, Jamie Foxx got uh, accused of slapping somebody across the face with his dick. Um, <laughs> and... Um, he said, of course, it didn't happen. It, to me, it sounds a little crazy. The um, the whole setup of me slapping you across the face with my dick. My dick got to be out some kind of ways. Something had to happen. She just said, like, yeah, we were talking. And he just said, slap him across the face with my dick. And then just walked out. Like, that shit don't even make sense. But um, Jane Fox said it didn't happen. Um, basically, what I want to get to is how you feel about this whole, the whole Jane Fox situation. If you hadn't heard about it, you don't have to talk on it. But how do you feel if uh, we're not saying the lady's lying or not, but let's say, let's put it in your court. If you was accused for something that would be considered the Me Too um, error, how would you handle that scandal? How would you take it? How would you take care of that? Because we all know most of the time, once it's, once they come out with the accusation, you're already guilty. So I just want to hear how you, how you would how you would handle that. We go we go with Cody. Once Cody finished, book, go ahead and hit that. And Greg, go and hit that because you know Greg. Um, I don't know what Greg doing over there with Patricia, so we're gonna hit him up last. Um, go ahead, go ahead, Cody. Uh, man, it's um, it's it's, it's dangerous. Um, uh, I know for a fact that uh, I've had a time to where I you slap somebody across the face with you. I, 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 no, I'm talking. I'm talking to <laughs> the girl. I'm talking to I, 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 I definitely hit her with it before. Uh, <laughs> but I'm saying like, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> you, really wanna, you really want to admit to that? Prior, prior, <laughs> prior to that, I don't, I don't know what I, you know, what I hit with, uh, you know, anything. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. You know, prior to that, mm. um, what I would like to say uh, on that um, front, I do remember whenever I was actually. Uh, you know, I was at school or whatever, and I brought a girl to the crib, and so she was laying, she was laying in my bed, and she was ready to get down. I thought, and so I came in there. You know what I'm saying? I come in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, it is what it is. And she said something like, uh, she said something like, uh, what, what you, what you gonna? She said, what you rape me? That's what she said. What you gonna rape me? I was like, what? And so I ended up taking her back. Uh, you know, we you going back to the yard. So I took her right back to the yard. Mm -hmm. it, it, people don't understand what the yard is. I took her right back to uh, on campus, you know, yeah, and dropped like, off. Like you was picking up hookers I, 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 or something. I, 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 I took her back to the strip. I wasn't you know? with nothing. Mm -hmm. Huh? That sound like you picking up strippers. I took her back to the yard. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, what the hell is that? No, this is a girl that's actually in school, man. And I took her back and dropped her straight off, man, because it didn't feel it didn't feel right to me. You know what I'm saying? Like she she was talking all that crazy. I'm like, nah, nah. <laughs> maybe she thought that was cool to say something like that, but it just didn't. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't right. So I took I took that back. So I know when I when I chopped it up with a couple of my partners about it and stuff like that, they they said uh you know um, a couple of them might not have done the same thing, but. That kind of let me know uh, some of the partners that was around me. Uh, yeah, cut them loose. Cause if somebody says something like that, you know, I you gotta cut them, cut them straight loose. In my opinion, 
Yeah. You just definitely look. Because if, if, if a girl says no nah, or hesitates, that is what that is. Like, let it go. That's a loss. Mm-hmm. Cut it out. Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I guess these days, these cats be, they, they go for the win. Like, they ain't, they ain't worried about uh, anything else beyond just them getting whatever they doing. But, uh, yeah, they can go out to the Shout out to Cody for not answering the question at all. Um, so, are you going to? What the question was? What would you do if somebody fake accused you of the Me Too? Like you dropped that girl off and she said, "Ah, he slapped me across the face with his dick," and uh, he grabbed on my breast and all that. When all you did was like, "Get your shit and come on," I'm bringing you back to the host road where I found you. That what you said, right? You speaking of prostitutes, or it was just a yard? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I Can you hear me, brother? Talking to Cody. Yeah, we're co- Cody. Yeah. Wait, what you done fell asleep, man? Did you you follow on the train, man? No, I'm not answering the question. You didn't answer the question, man. I said, what would you do if somebody fake me to you? What would you do? How you would handle that? You start talking about this girl I picked up out there on the corner. And then I brought her back to the joint. And then, yo, what did you talk about? It, it, what would you do if, if she said, yo, he tried to rape me or he grabbed on me and all that? That's the question, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I just told you, I just told you a whole example of that. No. Uh, okay. It, it's I, after, it's I, after I you dropped her off. Um, That's yeah. what she's telling people. I, that Me too. Because now we know accusations just come out of nowhere and you're automatically guilty. I'm like, how would you handle that? If I, there's no way to. There's no way to handle it. Like, it's like, okay, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is. Like, you only can do what you can do. Like, you have to bring the lawyers and stuff in there. I'm telling you a real, I'm telling you a real situation. <laughs> yeah, I, I, All right. I'm cool with your situation, but I'm saying, okay, let's say we can use your situation in this, but after you dropped it off, you know nothing happened, but she goes and starts telling the dean and everybody else, Cody tried to yeah. rape me in that room and all this bullshit. <laughs> That's what I want to know. How 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 would you handle that? What, 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 uh, I there's there's no certain way to handle it. Like you can't really go at it like being mad or whatever. You can't you can't really go at it any type of way. Like that's a uh, that's a um, situation to where you have to leave it up to just the courts because it's your word against hers. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't uh, say okay. You, you, I guess you can say, okay, this girl was this, this girl did that, this, this, this. you can throw all the kind of shame on it, but it, it's going to necessarily help you because they're going to say you just, oh, so you felt like you were this and da da da. Like, no, nah, I ain't, no. Nah. Okay. I've, I've, there's, there's really no way to deal with it. Like, like I said, the only way I deal with it is the situation that I actually had. And I that was what it was. I got you, but say, let's say, uh, I'm just saying, like, 10 years, 10, 12 years from now, this girl come back and say, you remember that story he been telling? I was the girl in there, and he grabbed on my, my, my chest, and you heard he said he slapped me in the face with, he slapped somebody in the face with a dick, and that was me, before he dropped me back off at the yard. Like, how you going, I mean, I'm not just going to be like, oh, the Lord going to take care of that. Slapping uh, somebody in the face with your, with your dick, that, like, don't we all do that to everybody? Like, come on now, like... But brother, don't, don't 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 lump me in there with you. Don't get me. Don't try to get me in trouble with you. <laughs> he's, he's, I'm not I don't know what you just said, but he said um, yeah. Cody said we slap everybody. He said don't we slap everybody in the face with our dick? No, we don't. <laughs> no, uh, we don't. <laughs> and before you got to Morgan Freeman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that ain't normal. That ain't normal. You slamming everybody in the face with your dick, nigga. That ain't normal. All right. All right. Before you get fellatio, you probably slap in the face with your, with, your, with your thing, right? You don't? I ain't never. I know I ain't never did nothing like that. Oh. You, go, you go for the cheek or you go for the straight forehead? How, how you slap? Where you slap at? Yeah. 
Let me, let me get Jasmine here. You think Jasmine going to admit to getting slapped? You think Jasmine might be admit to getting slapped by your dick on, on the forehead on the podcast? Like, for real? Yeah, I, I don't want to be a part of this. I think you would. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I don't know if I want to oh, be a part of this either. He about to get cussed <laughs> the fuck out. Don't do me like that, man. Don't do me like that, man. No, you doing them girls like that. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was too bad. I don't know what's wrong with this dude, man. <laughs> he try he trying to be in trouble with his old lady tonight, boy. What, what <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we need to talk on the subject. I think so. <laughs> I, I, I feel like he I feel like he got a case coming up his goddamn self. Like don't we do that to everybody? No, we don't, my nigga. No. <laughs> 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 Dude. Don't love me with this nigga, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. He got it oh. yet? Is Jasmine here? No, she not. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I can get it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you good, sir. You good. You good. No, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. Please. I'm all, I'm all for it. I don't need confirmation. If that's what you do, I don't need confirmation. I actually want to exactly. know. I want to ask the question. I I, I got to ask it. Uh Oh, not, now I'm intrigued. Oh, we're, talking, we're talking all these hypotheticals. Like I'm, I, was, I was trying to get Jasmine to come in here and uh, validate something. By, time, uh, by, by, all means, yeah. by all means, my brother, please go do that. <clears throat> I'm waiting on that. Yeah, she, she said she's on the phone. She said she'll come here after she get up the phone. I don't know who she's talking to, but she, she's on the phone right now. Tell her she can put, uh, them, she, she can put them on mute for, for, for five seconds of the, um, the dick slap. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like okay, okay. Like, oh my god, boy! Hey, it's just be real though. Like slap, that's supposed to be like a sexual thing. Like if you slap someone with with, with you know with your thing with your piece, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't slapping nobody in the face. <laughs> If you uh, if, if you slap somebody with your piece, it is what it is, right? Man. So for you, though, I mean, we we all we, we ain't here to play. Please mm. call Jasmine. Please, I I'm you. glad I'm not by myself on this one, man. I was by myself when we were talking about this discussion. Oh, you by yourself, my brother. <laughs> Oh, oh it's lonely. Please, please. It's lonely. Please, please call yeah, Jasmine. I, I got, lonely. We not in it because that was going to be the last topic. I don't even want to hear from nobody else. I got to talk to Jasmine. I mean, I, 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 I want to know. Yeah, that's right. What you mean? That's right. Holy shit, bro. I don't want. I don't want. Hold up! I think he's talking hey, to. Him. Hold, hold, up. hold up! He's talking to. Him. Hold up! Hey, hey, what's hey. going on, good? What up, Jasmine? Hey. What's going on? Oh, oh I'm gonna let yeah. your husband explain this one. Now. We, we just want to honest answer yeah. from you. We just want to hear. He said, "Hey, your reply." Mm. Did my popcorn call ready? Uh, it was something about us, me slapping you with my. Come on. Oh, you in the room. Oh, <laughs> don't listen to me, dude. You can't hear this. <laughs> in the living room. Little, little man that came here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's cool. It's cool. Don't, 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 don't get shame now. Listen, listen. Okay, come on. Listen, like, has it ever, have I ever slapped you in your head with my face? <laughs> I definitely have. When? Whenever, whenever. <laughs> Jasmine, first off, I, I, Jasmine, first off, I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Did he try to? He try to say the exact situation? <laughs> God damn it! No, 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 uh, yo, Cody, uh, give, give Jasmine, give Jasmine the, the mic. Yeah, J- uh, Jasmine, can you hear me? Jazz, I want to say none of us in the podcast uh, condone this question or what he was saying. When you listen to the playback, we're gonna say, brother, what are you doing? Uh, we did not condone this at all. Um, I'm sorry that he called you in here for that. 
But we know you ain't just letting Cody walk around slapping you in the face with dick. So uh, we already knew what the answer was to this. <laughs> Oh, I'm not flexing my balls. I'm just saying I hit you in the head before with my dick. I did. <laughs> I, know. Oh. I think I would remember that. <laughs> 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 Jasmine, thank, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes, thank you, Jasmine. I'm sorry that you had to endure this line of questioning. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it gets a little I, juvenile. I apologize, I apologize but yeah. trust me, oh, we, we went from um, Jamie Fox accusations, accusations of him slapping somebody in the face with a dick to Cody say, "Don't we all slap everybody in the face with our dicks?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> it's a we don't do that. That boy said it's sacred." <laughs> It's sacred. No, we all do. Yeah. No, she we go, don't. She's going to listen to the playback. She's going to listen to the playback. Okay. And she's going to hear okay. you say, okay. don't we slap everybody in the face with our dicks? No, we don't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. Oh, no. That boy, that's true, man. I'm, I'm going to tell the story. She'll probably remember. We were sitting. <laughs> He's telling the whole story. Riverside, right off of Riverside. Okay. In your apartment that you had right there. Uh, I was sitting on the couch. I got up. And I walked past you, and I hit you across your face. <laughs> and I was walking around. <laughs> I remember it. I definitely remember it. Because what <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, your roommate wasn't there. No, she wasn't there. Oh, my God. She wasn't. I don't remember this at all. I do. Jasmine, Jasmine, before you before came in here, Jasmine, before you came in here, he talked like every time before he receives fellatio, he gets a couple slaps in. That's how he was making it sound. <laughs> That's how he was making it sound. Yeah, you know what oh, Wow. Oh, my God. Do I, do I do that every single time? No. But that's not cool. You part of us. Yeah, you good. You good. I don't think you should drink and talk. Nah, I'm drinking and talking. Yeah, Joe. Jazz, you might want to take that cup away from that brother tonight, but it's cool. Nah, it's cup gone. It's cup gone. Ain't ain't nothing in the cup. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's why. <laughs> that's why we got that. He said, like, "Don't we all slap everybody about in front of their dick?" You know? Like, <laughs> what is this dick talking about? <laughs> He's lying. Oh, we all out here dick slapping faces. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's a secret. Did. As a man, <laughs> you ain't a man unless you pull out your dick and slap please. your girl in the face. Jasmine, and let her know what time it is. Please oh, listen wow. to the playback, Jasmine. Please, my listen man. To the <laughs> Hey, bro. I think oh that's more than that. And they call it the B word. Yeah. Who just walked by and just. Why? Just even while you were explaining, you didn't even say, man, if it's okay if I pull out my thing and slap you in your face. Uh, you just did. This nigga for sure part of me too. He said I just got up and then I walked past you and slapped you. Like, you just walked past you and like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Like, like that's common. Like I said, like it was a truth of that. Like, nigga, you ain't gonna do nothing. Oh my <laughs> I bet you yeah. won't. Nah, bro. Just pull it out, slap in your face with it, baby. Yeah, oh you know what time it is. Oh, my Lord. Cody oh, my Lord. Cody oh, Lord. Cody oh, something God. different, man. Oh, I'm man. Just you, that really happened, man. But whatever. Don't <laughs> remember. <All right. laughs> okay. Hey, man. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think I think that's a good part to end it oh, right there. I don't even want to talk about nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I want your courage, man. I want your courage. I really do. But you, hey, as soon as I get off the plane, as soon as I get off the plane, Suki, you know what time it is. Oh, why you there? Uh, oh, we're on the plane. We tell the banker we should be doing this every day. They don't do it all the time, man. Y'all watch. <laughs> I said it was that one time oh, that I. <laughs> oh, Greg, well, what's the you, 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 I'm trying to see if you go. You leaving the man hanging because um, right now it's it's two to one. I want to make sure. You... <laughs> I don't recall that. And I remember it. I don't recall. 
I remember it. That was one time. She don't recall, but I definitely remember it myself. Because when it happened, I was like, oh, okay. Because I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I hit you in the face with it. You know what I'm saying? I can't know what it is. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? So my, uh, my ego kicked in. Yeah, it sounds like it. You're the only one holding on to the story. You're the only one holding on to the story. Jasmine does not recall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, yeah. You know why? Because when people get hit, they have when people get hit in the head, they have brain damage, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, 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 Cody, go. You got, you got anything to plug, man? Go, go, go ahead and get out of this for your wife. Listen to this playback, and you, you done for sure, man. Uh, uh, nah, y'all, y'all, every single time we do it, y'all say the wife gonna listen to it, and I guess the playback is gonna do me and whatever, whatever. No, it is what it is. It is what it is. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, man, uh, every, every, every black man can come, man. It's always there, man. It's always there. It's always there. Man. And uh, also, uh, dot com. That's uh, dope link. Uh, dope uh, artists as well. Big moves being made. Um, I'll try to let y'all know something about it. You know, uh, probably next month. See what's going on. But uh, what to let y'all know what's going on. But yeah, that. Uh, yeah, man. Hit him, hit him across the, hit him across the forehead, man. God, uh, he didn't mess me all the way up. I don't even know what song to play. Get, get out of here with that one, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I guess hit him with the mule, right, bro? I mean, yeah. hey, oh no, oh, no, 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 Hey, yo, yo, um, oh, my God. You got anything? <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. it must have been. It must have been more in my mind than anything. If, if baby can't remember, because I remember, but she don't remember. So he's, it, he's still it, on it. it. Oh, <laughs> he said it's that brain damage right there. That's <laughs> that brain yeah, damage. I, uh, oh, I definitely can't remember, remember that it happened. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll fix the brain damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Over there. You you got you got anything book you you want to say before in closing, man? Before we get up out of here, um, nah, man. Just shout out to the family. Shout out to the friends. Uh, just you know, staying positive, man. Staying encouraged. That's it. Gotcha, gotcha, Greg. Same thing to you, man. You got anything you want to say? Nah, man. I'm I'm at a loss for words, man. I'm still trying to you know, stay positive. And everything. My poor Bell saying. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he take the cake, you know what I'm saying? Man, man. Uh, he started with the cake, boy. He's a cake and I'm telling you. He's a cake. Man. Oh, that's my Just like always. Do that, just like always, make sure y'all follow us at um on Facebook. We got a Facebook page, the the MVP, the Man's View Podcast. Make sure you type all that mm-hmm. shit in and it'll come up. Like us, you know what I'm saying? We always put the new podcast on there each week. Um how let us and make sure you, you guys keep on listening. We, we're doing it for y'all and um, all the dick slappers out there. You hear me? Uh, <laughs> the average black man out there dick slapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't one of them, though. I ain't one of them. We, we, I, I ain't I, doing that. Me neither. <laughs> and, remember, and remember, we still got T-shirts. We got um, we got average black man T-shirts and we got the um, the podcast T-shirts. So make sure y'all hit us up for that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got mine in the mail, too, fellas. I got mine. Appreciate it. No problem. But shoot, man, I guess. Hey, give me some to ride out to, man. Give me some to ride out to, man. What you got? There you go. So you can hit her with the mule. That what you saying? I'm gonna just keep on letting it play till you get to the hook, man. It don't matter. So y'all might as well talk a little. Oh man, because it's gonna keep on playing till you get to the hook. At least, at least they'll get to the Cody part. That boy called his wife in here. You know he in trouble tonight. God damn. Mm-hmm. Even if that was true, boy, you ain't got the right to do it no more. Oh, yeah. oh she told him, up. <laughs> it's a wrap. As soon as he pull it out again, oh no, you think you gonna hit me in the face? <laughs> no, bitch. No, you ain't. Yeah. 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 Y
No, thank you. Ah, there we go. Cause I hate it with the mule. <laughs> 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 <laughs>